Hey everybody, welcome to Workforce Gaming. I am Brad, here with Doug. Hey. Crisis Core, Final mm -hmm. Fantasy VII Reunion. Getting <laughs> dangerously close to Kingdom Hearts Saints here. Uh, that's Wait, that's the whole title? I thought they were joking. No, that is it. Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII Reunion. Jesus. All right, it, cool. Well, because the original <laughs> one is Crisis Core, Final Fantasy VII, and then the re instead of remake, oh. it's Reunion. So. Is the series called Reunion? Is that what it's called now? Is it Final no. Fantasy Reunion? I don't it's know. It's Remake, Rebirth, Reunion. Oh, jeez. Remake cool. first, Rebirth for 7 Part 2, and then Reunion now. you got to know these things. These are basics. Come on. <laughs> um, there's... Th I also didn't realize until I was reading somewhere like the weird naming thing for Final Fantasy VII, where it's like Advent Children Ever Crisis Before Crisis, Crisis Core, like A C B C C. Oh, really? Is that on purpose? Is that on purpose? I, I think I read somewhere that I was reading something. <laughs> about it. Anyway, this is so far off task. Anyway, right now. Um. So anyway. <laughs> yeah. Played through Crisis Core for the mm -hmm. first time ever. Um. Just, I, would, I never really had a PSP. I have one now that has a couple games on it, but I just never really got into it. Mm -hmm. uh, so my first experience with Crisis Core uh, was one of those things where it kind of came out and I was just, I love me some Final Fantasy. Seven's not my favorite, but um, mm -hmm. I just feel like this is the time of Final Fantasy Seven again between yeah. Rebirth. Re it's, it's all there. So um, I was excited to jump into it. This game is good. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> I like how you're like going for a great and then you went to a, it's good. It's good. <laughs> I wasn't going for it. it. It's great too. It's great. Like I was, yeah. It's great. Um, it's so much more than what I thought it was because you think like handheld spinoff game, and yeah. that immediately puts a thought in your brain. Mm -hmm. And again, this one had some work done to it for sure because it definitely looks very comparable to remake. Mm -hmm. Menu designs are all the same. Interfaces are the same. UI is all the same. All that stuff is the same. So you definitely get that feeling like a lot of work's been get been done here, mm -hmm. and it just. It, I felt bad like judging it as like just some weird little handheld side game oh. for so long because that's why I never was like, yeah, sure. it's fine, it's whatever. Some weird handheld game with a slot machine, I don't understand. I'm not that yeah. in Zach. Like, Zach's not. Why do we need more Zach? But mm. everything about this game is just so cool. Um, so just to start off with the basic story is it starts at, with Zach as like a soldier second class dreaming mm -hmm. of becoming first class. He's good friends with Sep with Sephiroth, so you get Sephiroth thrown in there, um, and Angeal. And basically there's people from Soldier who go and like splinter off and start like going against what Shinra's doing and taking some of mm -hmm. Shinra's weird research and basically you're tasked with go get these guys, go figure it out, and it kind of all explodes from there into Zack Sephiroth and eventually Cloud's backstory. Mm -hmm. So is that does it does it assume that you know what happens in Final Fantasy VII or is it like that like because I know because Zack's stuff we haven't gotten to in remake yet. Yeah. So is it, does it kind of assume that you know what's going to happen or is it just like just feels totally separate that you 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 could play this and not really need to know all that. All of that I think you could get away with. It does a lot of assuming you know the world of Final Fantasy VII. Like, there's oh, okay, no explanation sure. of, like, um, sh what Shinra is, of Shinra's government. Like, what Shinra is, of, like, the social structure. You've just got, oh, yeah, Shinra Corporation and the slums. And this is Midgar. And you go to places that maybe is Midgar. This so it's lots of, I think, gotcha. you would have more, yeah. more world-setting questions than character mm -hmm. questions. Because the characters are very well-developed. Um, Zack is very much his own um sephiroth is just basically portrayed as the hero of the world and sephiroth is just oh, like cool. um soldier are these elite people who have saved lives countless and countless of times and sephiroth is the main one so um actually all the soldiers have like if you go into town and you talk to people they have fan clubs so you can oh, join really? their oh, fan club fun. and um <laughs> basically all your communication comes through like emails because it's mm -hmm. 2008 2007 something like that so everything's email so mm -hmm. you go and you can sign up for their fan club emails. So you That's can sign up so for Sephiroth. Funny. A couple of the other characters. So it's do just cool to, stuff do, like that. Do you get to meet Sephiroth as like not a uh, quiet, scary guy? Like, is it he like is there like a lot of dialogue with Sephiroth, or is he just still kind of like that yeah. sort of like quiet, cool guy? No, oh, interesting. It, this this very much shows the evolution of Sephiroth from like oh interesting, just like oh yeah, he's just like a really cool sh soldier to like the character you see in Final Fantasy VII. Again, the backstory mm -hmm. in this for the characters is great. It shows really like. I mean, it basically takes you up until the moment Final Fantasy VII starts with Cloud, of how mm. Cloud kind of met Zack, how Cloud interacts with Zack, with Soldier, how 
Cloud gets the Buster Sword, all of this stuff and kind of the meaning behind this so that when you get to Final Fantasy VII and you see Cloud, you're like, whoa, okay, this <laughs> is it. Um, but yeah, so the, so the story basically is um, those people splinter off. There's a, and again, with the setting, there's a lot of stuff with the war with the Wu Tai people and what they're doing, and there's no explanation for that other than they're bad and don't like Shinra. So go get them. And you don't really have that backstory that you would get in Final Fantasy VII for what's all going on with that. Mm -hmm. um, and then it gets into a lot of the like cloning stuff and alternate versions of people that Final Fantasy VII deals with. So like oh, the main, sure, yeah. so like the main thing is this guy went off and the technology he stole is basically how to make copies of all these soldiers and people with Genova cells in them and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's kind of your main so story is how do you go and get this guy and then that kind of pairs off into how Sephiroth is involved with all of the genetic experiments and all of the ancients and stuff and then you come there and um, you kind of explore all of that backstory. So. The does it feel like it integrates well with remake or does it feel like this is like a, just a, a side separate 2007 remake of a PSP game or does it does it, do they try and mm, is like the story presentation the same or there's no? there's no change to the story I googled it oh okay oh they, like it's they not did not... that but I just but like the cutscenes and stuff are they like they're not like remake quality or anything are they like PSP cutscenes with good models or something some both I think oh, some weird. are very clearly original <laughs> and some are very clearly like retouched. There's a lot of, there's a few different parts for that, and I can't, I couldn't tell you again. I've never played the original, so I couldn't tell you what yeah. was like really heavily redone for this and what was already just there. But um, it definitely mm. looked. I mean, it looks good. It looks good yeah. is what I'll say. If if you didn't know better, with the exception of a few scenes, you would not assume this is a 14 year old handheld game. Oh, cool, nice. That's um, cool. But yeah, so kind of getting away the story, getting away from the story. Zach is an awesome character. He yep. is like just super goofy, super like just I'm gonna be a he like. It's almost if you found a happy medium between Sora and Cloud. That's Zach. Oh, that's kind of fun. Oh, interesting. <laughs> so you kind of get the like the seriousness of Cloud with like the like I'm gonna be a hero and like the whole thing is, um, you've got to like be brave and honor for a soldier and all this stuff. Like, so it kind of yeah. gets, it's this weird, this game really in my mind kind of fits between like remake and kingdom hearts in a lot of ways with a mm, lot of kind of the themes and stuff in my language. <laughs> and, um, but Zach's just, he's, he's fun and he's kind of got this like up and comer and soldier and what can I do to be the best? And how can I do it? And I'm going to be the best. I'm going to be the hero. Like he talks all the time about how I'm going to be the hero. I'm going to be the hero. I'm going to be the hero. Yeah. Um, I want to be just like Sephiroth, kind of that same again Sora mentality of like, no, I can do this. Like, yeah, everybody else is better than me, but damn it, <laughs> I'm me. And I'm gonna do it. It's got a lot of that. So it's kind of fun though, because if you have like such a chipper character and like you know Shinra is kind of, like you know that Shinra is not a great company, and it's kind of fun having this guy who's gonna be like, I'm gonna be the best Shinra guy I can. Yeah, and and that's kind of one of the things where, where as you progress, he kind of learns some of that. Mm -hmm. um in terms of like the like what shinra is actually doing and these experiments and all that other kind of stuff that yeah you get a lot more detail in in seven sorry if i'm being i'm trying to be slightly vague to not spoil yeah, either no, you one and it's really like happy. yeah yeah <laughs> i get it i get it um yeah. but yeah so the combat in this is very very kingdom hearts you get one button to attack just square 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 okay. square you hold l1 which triggers like your like Ooh. shortcut menu to your yeah, materia all, now, we're, now we're talking <laughs> you get you get your dot so you've got that you got your dodge button you got your block button done oh, that's that is, combat. that is legit kingdom that is it legit is kingdom it is hearts. it is like kingdom hearts combat and it's fun it's basic it's simple it's one of those where it's just like okay if i get my blocks right i get my dodges right i use the right materia we're golden and it's just it's a ton of fun i really like it it's one of those there's like a i don't know how many like a billion and a half missions i did like 30 and was three percent done with them or something um they're just oh, quick geez. combat missions where it's like yeah. hey go to this area and do this and it just you go in you kill your three enemies and you're out um i did a bunch of those just because the combat's fun and it's fun going to see different monsters and fighting different things so the combat's great just i i really do love this game it's one of those things where i went and just kind of like all right I'll get more of your damn backstory, and by, <laughs> by three or four chapters into it, I'm just like this. This is good stuff. This is this is very very good stuff. So you kind um, of want it as like as an obligation because it's like, well, not not. I'm in yeah. the the remake, uh, you know, sphere. Yep. I need to. See I need, I need it all. Everything. Yeah, <laughs> I need to know it all. Um, 
the other couple things that happen there. So one is very cool, and I was kind of reading up on this, and it's actually new in this version, is now when enemies do their, like, super powerful attacks, they have an ability power gauge. And I currently, one yeah. of the things with the first one is that um, there are so many moves that would just one-shot you. Okay, like, that sure. was half the, That was half the problem. So what will happen, and they're all timed slightly different, is when you're fighting a boss and they go to do, like, the, like, super powerful ultimate move or whatever, yeah. a bar just pops up, and you can, like they pause for, you know, however many seconds to charge it, and you just can attack them down. So it'll start at 100%, and then it goes yeah. 75, 50, 25. So the damage is scaled. So if you just ignore it, oh. like, you're going to basically get one-shotted. So, like, if you're like, oh, crap, I need to use this time to heal. Okay, heal up, heal up, heal up, heal up. They hit you with a big number, and you're down to, like, two health. Okay. Or you run in and attack them down, and as you get, if you hit zero, it just cancels their attack. Well, that's actually kind of my question is because I would say one of the things I do like about Final Fantasy games is like getting hit by a big attack is sometimes a cool looking like show. Um, so we'll do you get miss there. Some... Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no. These are some okay. of the best. Oh, really? Oh, the... God damn, dude. So, <laughs> so each en- like all of the boss enemies have the big ones. They're pretty cool. And then um, Zach has a limit break. And basically the way the limit breaks work is every character you meet that's a main character gets added to your i keep wanting to call it dmv but it's not <laughs> um, to, your, to D, your slot machine right your slot machine i'm trying to remember it's d it's something must be dmw d <laughs> anyway it gets added to that so you get once you meet them you get their limit break added in so as the slot machine is spinning what that spins mm-hmm. for is limit breaks so like you split okay. it and you get three sephiroths you yeah. can do a limit break that imitates a Sephiroth move, and it goes oh, to that's like cool. it like stops the battle, goes to a cutscene, and like does like this crazy like okay like Octa slash I'm gonna slash him up eight times, and then jumps back oh, into the sick. battle. Um, one of the other one of the Turks is uh, like it brings in like a helicopter and just bombards them with stuff. <laughs> so they're cool. just okay, there, yeah. and then that's not even like the summit the summon ones because there's some summon ones where it's just like it is like insane like final battle in an anime levels of epic every time you pull really? out a summon wow I mean, I didn't, I... There, there's like one that's like legit like i'm gonna fly into space and like just shoot giant lasers back down at the oh, ground cool. and blo- like that kind of stuff yeah kind of reminds um, me of, it sounds like the final fantasy 7 original summons i guess yeah, which yeah very similar sense. very similar yeah um but those are all brand new those summon animations are all brand new for Ooh. this game so those are all just Shit. fantastic um i wasn't interested i honestly like i was kind of like gonna wait on this one but damn <laughs> you make this sound very interesting <laughs> um but so the slot machine also has different effects because there's numbers and character portraits so you get buffs from it since obviously mm-hmm. you're only one character so you can't it's hard to kind of buff and debuff a lot yeah so you get buffs from it so like it'll spin and randomly it'll just pop up like no mp cost and you can just go to town like shooting spells at them it'll be mm-hmm. um like null physical attacks for 10 seconds and you can just charge in and do stuff. So the slot machine kind of spins like that. Um, which again, just kind of adds a layer of fun to it, but it's just, it's totally random. Like you're not, yeah. you're not, you're not influencing completely it. random. No, oh, jeez. <laughs> which is, it... I, I will say like, so the final boss, I got like a couple real good spins. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was like, oh, I knocked out like a third of your health bar right away. Cause I got like two good spins on my, on my mind yeah. deal here. So, uh, pros and cons again it's super fun but it does i think at times diminish the difficulty a little bit because there's there was another boss that i was kind of stuck on and i think it was like my fourth try it's like i didn't do anything different i just got a couple of real good rolls i got like an yeah. uber powerful summon a great limit break and a couple of like no mp cost so you can and just like go not, lay into them and you're not doing any sort of like stat stuff in the background to influence better roles or anything like that. Um, you're not doing that you, with the menus so or anything when you interact with the main characters so like if you have like a really like because it has to do with Zach's mindset and how he feels about himself. So if you have like a really like memorable scene with like Cloud, then yeah. Cloud's portrait will have a better chance to show. Oh, okay. Um, and there's things that like buff it too. Like one of the one of the limit breaks buffs it, so um, you have a better chance of getting those limit breaks faster. There's there's a few little things that play sure. with it, but for the most part, it is very very random, which <laughs> is interesting. But it's it's sure. it's one of those things that. Are, I think it's better to have some weird, interesting concept like that than just to be like, oh yeah, it's just, it's Kingdom Hearts combat. And it doesn't, yeah, so it doesn't like, but uh, it doesn't like completely hinder you or 
Well, I no. guess it does sound like a completely turn the tide of battle, though. <laughs> I mean, there, there, there are times where you're like, "Ooh, okay, well, had I not got that spin, I would have, I, I would have lost this fight." Swap, yeah. And there, but I mean, there's other ones where it's just like you just don't, you don't get any good spins. There's a couple things that come up where it's like, "This, this doesn't help me at all. This is not helpful." Yeah. Like you're fighting an enemy that's really like, really uh, has high defense against uh, physical attacks, and you're getting all things that are buffing your physical attacks. It's like, well, mm -hmm. this isn't helpful. Hmm. Or you're getting like um, null magic on something that doesn't use magic, so there's gotcha. a little bit there. Oh, it's like okay. okay, so the randomness kind of plays into it. Sometimes it's helpful, sometimes it's not. So it's hmm. it's a little bit of everything, but I, it's fun. It's interesting. It's fun. Sure. Um, I think it's one of those things where, if this game was forty hours long, yeah, you would want something more, better, hmm. more usable, more mold moldable to your playstyle. But the game, I think I, I think I finished at like ten and a half, eleven hours. Ooh. So it's Damn, a nice, man. yeah, it's it's nice <laughs> You're really and breezy. Speaking about like Kingdom Hearts, <laughs> like, I, like I said, ten hours long. <laughs> it, this this thing hits so many good points that it's just okay. like it's exactly what I want in these types of games where it's yeah. just you know what, it's quick, it's straightforward, it's got a good story, it's got good characters, it's fun, it's interesting, it's just it's it's so good. I really do really do love this game. It's a ton of fun. Nice. And yeah, um, there's there's a few slowdown parts that I kind of wasn't into. Um, Aerith plays a very big role in this, mm -hmm. and hers is a lot of walking around town missions, which oh, very sure. much kind of yeah, kill yeah. the pace. There's two there's two chunks that are basically like, go help Aerith with blank, go help Aerith with blank. Sure. And those and those very much kind of like oh okay this is kind of a little it's a lot of talking with here. people I assume and like you got of, this item go give it to yep. this person kind of thing yep. yeah lots of lots of, lots of stuff that feels like it should have been a side quest um, <laughs> also sounds like a PSP game to be honest <laughs> again yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I mean there's a few points you can feel that like I said the missions take like thirty seconds sometimes so it's like sure. this is perfect yeah. not affordable but like sitting on my chair like on my TV I don't really need to, like jump in jump out jump in jump out jump in jump sure. out so yeah, yeah um there's a few points like that but yeah um lots of connections to final fantasy 7 i think the information that you get from this is very meaningful i think it does add a little bit of a layer to final fantasy 7 which i think is what you need from a spinoff game like this where i would go back and if i'm playing final fantasy 7 have a little bit of a different opinion of shinra a little bit of a different opinion of sephiroth a little bit of a mm -hmm. different feeling for what's going on just based on what I now know that I didn't the first couple times I played Final Fantasy VII, which is gotcha. pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But Neat. for sure, for sure, a Doug game. I think you would love this a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. God, throw it on the pile. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are Workforce Gaming. You can follow us on Twitter at Workforce Gaming. Subscribe to us wherever you're listening, and we will see you later. Bye.